welcome you all ccs335 cloud computing lab on experiment number 8 creating and executing your first container using docker so initially we will install docker then create a simple docker image and then host it into docker container and then execute this is the theme of the session so what is docker so it's a platform that enables quick application development through container so the application development which merged with a software so container is a combination of program along with the software so the quick application development which run via this container so it's a open platform for developing and shipping and running the application with the concept of containerization it simplify the process of creating distributing running application so docker enables you to separate your application from your infrastructure so you can deliver the software in a very quick manner for example this is a example for docker container so a container which comprising of your tomcat web server your java and debian os so all those things are combined together to form a container wherever required this container was transmitted for example alpine is a simple linux operating system in the top of that i am running a echo command the alpine os and echo command which combine together to create a container wherever needed you call that container automatically alpine os was installed and then the program was executed similar way ubuntu os php and mysql which form a container wherever you require we call this container automatically ubuntu os was installed mysql server was installed and php was installed so this is what very easy your program also combined together so this is was docker program now for this docker program uh, initially you install the docker so i will open the chrome browser and then i will google it docker google docker so docker desktop so i will download the docker desktop for windows download for windows so download takes few seconds wait for that few seconds so docker program which combines your program along with your software combined together to create a container wherever needed the container which will be transmitted that's fine now i am downloading the docker software from the official docker website docker.com wait for few more seconds the download will complete in 30 seconds so mainly this docker which focused on containerization concept so which combines your program along with your software wherever needed you call that container automatically the software was installed and then your program was executed it's very easy for software industry so it download will complete in 10 seconds so the step number 1 for installing docker so go to docker official website and then download the docker software yes once download complete you can open that folder and double click on that file and install that exe so now open that file and double click on that exe to press s to accept so installation was completed in very few seconds so wait for few more seconds accept so docker desktop 4.13.1 so 35.1 so the version pack it unpacked all those required software and then which installed in uh, windows desktop i am downloading the software for windows so installation which takes few more seconds wait for few more seconds so which unpack all the required files and then install the software inside windows once installation completed a docker desktop icon which will be created in your system desktop so you can click on that docker desktop icon once created and then accept the docker agreement okay 
wait for few more seconds all those packages were uninstalled docker hub docker plugins everything was uh, unpacking and then install in your machine it's a completely open source software docker is a completely open source container so it's easy to use Wait for two seconds. Then now installation was succeed. Close. Then now go to desktop and then open that file Docker desktop. And then accept everything. And then skip this welcome note and skip this survey too. Now the Docker engine was started. Starting the Docker engine, wait for two seconds. Once Docker engine was started, you can create uh, yes, Docker engine was started. Initially container was empty. Initially images is also empty. Okay. Docker hub is also initially empty. Fine. Now I will go to a command. I will op, I will go to a visual code IDE. I will open a visual code IDE. I will close everything. I will remove this file. I will open a new folder first. I will open a new folder. The folder named as Docker test. I will open a new folder named as Docker test. Open that folder and select that folder. Don't say. Yes, new file was opened. Now I will create a new Docker file. So Docker file. Press enter. Then inside that file, I will type from, I will install the OS named as Alpin. So ALPIN Alpin OS in latest version. Okay. I will execute the command on second. So it installed the Linux OS. Then the command, I will execute that command. Echo, comma, welcome to Docker demo. So save the file. So now Alpin OS was installed and then inside that the echo command was executed. It's placed inside the square bracket. It's array of elements. Echo is a command and welcome to Docker demo is a second command. So both combined together and executed. Now we'll go to view menu and open a terminal. And go to command. I will open a command prompt. That's fine. Now here I will type docker build hyphen t name of this project. You can give any name. I will give demo docker. Then dot dot for all files. Execute. So docker was built. Wait for a few more seconds. The entire docker was filled. So I think I think a is small. Alfin OS invalid writing file name. The repository must be in lower case. So demo Docker. It's building, transferring the files. Wait for a few more seconds. I think Alfin. Yes, small letter. Now we will execute that file. Building that entire file, wait for a few more seconds. The Alpine OS was installed, and then file entire things create an image. Image which contains this code along with the Alpine file. Now go to your Docker desktop. Yeah, yes, Docker was added in the desktop. Go to container. Now container was empty. Now I will execute that file which will create a container. I will go to here and execute Docker run 
demo docker yes yes which executed and print the output as welcome to docker demo i will go to here go to container yes a new container was created you can execute here also either command prompt or execute here also view details you can view the output yes welcome to docker demo yes fine this is what a simple docker program was executed now i will go to my second experiment open another folder the folder named as java java demo select that folder and open here and i will create a new file i will create a new file named as docker file yes i will create a new file the file which is named as docker file inside the docker file i will create java so from open jdk so i will install the java i will change the working directory we will create a new one directory the directory which is named as my java okay then i will copy the entire code that is current code to slash my java so the current code which will move to my java folder then i will execute compile that program so java c my java program named as demo dot java then i will execute the command command the command named as java comma name of my class named as demo now i will save that file now i will create my java program that is demo dot java then i will type public public class demo then inside that public static void main now string args of i will type system dot out dot print ln testing Yes, save that file. I will open view and then terminal and then change here it into command prompt and I will build this program docker build hyphen t the name of the project as java demo and dot which building which installing java and then combine this program and create a separate container. The container which will be named as Java demo. Wait for a few more seconds. So whatever files require which installing. So wait for a few very few more seconds. Now the directory was created, Java was installed after the directory created, the copying the file and compile that code. Having an error, that is semicolon missing. I will place that semicolon and then execute the command again. So yes, small letter. So I have modified and then execute that file java docker run java demo. So java was installed and program was executed and printing testing. Now go to my desktop and view that images java demo and docker. Execute here also and go to container and verify that the second container was created. The container was created in separate distinct and java demo and view details the output testing was put. Execute that file. The testing was printed the output testing was printed this is what a simple docker installation and then docker image creation and container execution thanks for watching